any crop growing is a lack of CO2. That, that plant, this plant here, is made of 90% CO2. This plant is made of 90% CO2. And it's made of 6% hydrogen, and that's from the water that's <coughs> taken up from those roots. So the roots have to get saltier than the soil to pump water up to the top, right? And the sun is splitting the, the water, giving me oxygen to breathe. And the hydrogen joins onto the CO2 and makes cells and sugar. This is a sugar plant. Every plant makes sugar. And so it's extradating sugar off its roots to feed fungus and bacteria that picks nitrogen for this plant. This plant's never had nitrogen except for what it made itself. And it's made of 2% nitrogen, because it's 12% protein, this plant. And it's 2% made of the minerals of the earth. 2% 2 dirt in this plant. And as a farmer, once you understand that, then you start thinking differently, because I'm a mechanic. And I'm standing in my field, I'm a son of a farmer, and I have no clue of how a plant grows, and that's my business. And I started to study, because what I was being told is half of the truth. And the other half is how does a biological system grow? How does a tree grow on the top of the mountain? How does the, pine, the poplar trees grow so well on the native grass? But we have to produce more to feed everyone in the world. And I'm not growing half crops. I'm growing according to how much hydrogen I get from the rain. Because eh? you only get a half a box of grain if you just have half your rainfall. If you have a full profile of rainfall in your soil, you would grow a big plant. That's why I irrigate. I'm getting more hydrogen on my land so I can capture more CO2 and I can make this plant take more CO2 from the air. So this corn plant, 400 parts per million of CO2 is in the atmosphere and that's what this thing's made of. It's professional at growing from gases, right? So it's taking the gases of 78% nitrogen that's in the air and the bacteria take them and turn it into protein and feed proteins back to this plant with a DNA strip. It has copper, iron, zinc, and manganese and phosphorus in it. So when it feeds with, with protein feeding, this will not have any deficiencies, none at all. The leaf, especially corn, will have zinc on the leaf. So it attracts CO2. How does it take 400 parts per million of CO2 out of the air and that's negatively floating around in the air, like dust? How does it get onto the leaf? This plant has to be positively charged with lots of copper, lots of zinc, lots of calcium, lots of iron, lots of magnesium. They're all earth metals. And they're all positively charged. But what happens when we put ammonium phosphate on, it's feeding it with ammonium. And it has to balance it with something negative. It balances it with chloride. Chloride comes up and closes the stomata and says, don't take any CO2 and I've got a fire under my roots. Somebody put heat here. A dinosaur died or a cow died or something peed there. Urea, urine, eh? And so the plant's physiology is different than if it's feeding on nitrate nitrogen or protein. And it's, it can switch, it can use, but it's candy. Ammonium is recent nitrogen in the environment and plants love it. It'll use it all up until it's all gone. And that's why fertilizer works so well. You put it on, bam, it's gonna use it. And its physiology changes. This plant comes negative charge because it says, don't use any sunlight energy. Make the leaf negatively charged so that it doesn't take in as much CO2. It doesn't have to put sugar off because that's heat, eh? So there's fungus down here that needs some light, and heat is light, and you never destroy light. It gets converted to something else in the windmills. Turn in the wind turbines. That's just light turning those and it's stored into light because I can turn on my light and see the light, right? So you can, you can convert energy to many different forms. You can store it. And this thing is storing it. So I can light this leaf on fire and you'll see the light unwind out of it. I can light gasoline on fire or fertilizer and see a big bang, right? So it's all about energy and I'm in the energy business and I'm not going to buy any energy. And I'm in the mining business and I'm not going to buy any minerals because I'm going to change the plant to use the sun's energy on my farm. And I have fertile soil. Everyone does have dirt. But if you put carbon into soil, into dirt, it turns into fertile soil. So that's just basics of plant physiology.